Let's bring in Melissa Murray, professor at NYU School of Law, as well as Neil Katyal, former acting solicitor general of the United States. Both are MSNBC legal analysts. Thank you both, as always, for coming to The Sunday Show. Neil, let me first get your reaction to the special master news and the testimony of Pat Cipollone and Pat Philbin. So you had started by saying this was a bad legal week for Donald Trump, and I'd agree, but I would add the codicil here, Jonathan. It's been a really great week for the rule of law. So the special master ruling that you talked about, but also his tax records were handed over to the House committee after Donald Trump unanimously lost on the Supreme Court, and Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, was ordered to testify before a grand jury losing his South Carolina case. So I think to me the biggest news is is this special master ruling because the Court of Appeals, in a unanimous decision written by two appointees of Donald Trump and one of George W. Bush, very conservative panel, mm -hmm. said there was absolutely nothing to Trump's claim that he's entitled to some special rights and an overseer of this Mar-a-Lago investigation where he stole documents. The court said mm -hmm. that was ridiculous and absurd. Trump got an early legal break by getting a judge, Judge Cannon, who evidently liked to entertain wackadoodle arguments, but the Court of Appeals had none of it. It was a straight body slam reversal. And now the investigation by this special counsel, Jack Smith, is going forward with the express blessing of the United States Court of Appeals. You know, Neil, I like your reframing of this. It's not a bad legal week for Trump. It's a great week for the, for the rule of law. Melissa, I'd love to get um, your reaction. Same question. I think Neil is exactly right. It was a great week for the rule of law. It was a terrible week for Judge Cannon, who got that stunning rebuke from the 11th Circuit, who just made clear that not only was she subscribing to a wackadoodle idea, I mean, she really didn't seem to have a grasp of what was required of her and what the law required in that moment. And, and that, of course, was a stunning rebuke to get from the panel above you. But I will say this, um, to the extent that the interest in the special master was intended to delay this investigation, Investigation, then Donald Trump actually was successful in doing that. They added more time to what had been a quite accelerated track for the investigation, and it added more time, bogged it down, had everything going through Judge Deary. It's back on track now, but to the extent that it was intended to delay justice, then I think it might have succeeded at least a little bit. Um, this is back on track, obviously, and Jack Smith is now back in the driver's seat. But again, Donald Trump has done this before, and he was relatively successful successful until the 11th Circuit stepped in.